hi everyone hope you all doing well welcome back to our channel in this video i'm going to explain you log analytics workspace which is a very important component available or let's say responsible for multiple azure services like azure monitor microsoft sentinel and microsoft defender for cloud because all these different services use log analytics workspace for data ingestion okay now after watching this video you will have a fair understanding of what is log analytics workspace what are its use cases what are different log formats and lastly i'll talk about data structure of log analytics workspace now before i go ahead and talk about how exactly this particular service work I would like you to remember these four keywords, which are collect, analyze, monitor, and visualize. This section means collection of data. Then once you have collected, you must analyze that particular data to derive some meaning out of it. Then when you want to have any monitoring rules in place. And lastly, whether there can be any dashboards which can be created with the data that we have captured. Okay. Now, I would like to start from a very fundamental concept, and that is what is an event? Anything which is happening digitally and documented in the form of a record can be referred to an event. Now, multiple events generated by any system are referred as logs. Now, have you ever wondered why in Windows, the console that helps you view all the events is referred as event viewer. Now, the answer is fairly simple because with this console, you can view all the events, all the logs that are getting generated by either OS or applications installed on that particular machine. As well as on the right hand side, it gives you the privilege to save all the logs or events in the form of a file correct now here i was talking about windows machine right but practically almost every computing system generates logs now these logs can be from any source it can be a host machine it can be a network device a router or switch it can be security solutions it can be identity solutions or practically any solution that you are using now, in a nutshell, these logs which are getting generated by these computing systems, this is basically a structured data. Now, what do I mean by this? It has a predefined schema. So, for example, this SNP that you see right now is an application log and it has a predefined schema wherein certain attributes are going to have some values. Now, the next step can be the value formats, which means time generated should be in this particular format. Basically, what I'm trying to express here or what I'm trying to explain that every log which a computing system is generating, it will be of a specific format. Just to name a couple of them, you have Windows event format. The example that I've shown you was a Windows event format. Similarly, you have syslog. You have common event format and you have JSON. Now, depending upon the solutions that you are using, they can be multiple use cases. For example, if I talk about Windows as a platform, when endpoint logs will be typically in uh, WEF format. When it comes to network device logs, if I talk about firewalls, it will be typically in CEF. But router and switches, they can forward logs uh, with the help of syslog or let's say to a syslog collector similarly you have application event logs iot logs security solution logs directory service logs dns server logs and the list just goes on right now irrespective of your use case i mean let's say you want to capture endpoint logs 
okay or let's say you want to capture security solution logs in both the scenarios you must be having some central repository where all the endpoint logs can be ingested or let's say you must be having a central repository where all the security solution logs can be ingested so practically speaking centralization of data is exceptionally important right or there can be a use case where you want to ingest all the logs to a centralized repository for compliance purpose let's say you want to save all these logs for two years right then also you need some solution where all this data can be ingested right now let's talk about something from data collection standpoint Imagine there are three different type of log formats which are getting generated in your enterprise, correct? And you want to use a solution where you can save all these three log formats as well as the data from all the data sources as well. For example, when I talk about WEF, there can be n number of servers from which you want to capture data. When I talk about syslog, there can be n number of devices which are generating syslog data. Similarly, the concept goes with CEF, wherein I can scope this to firewall devices. But then what we, ha what we have to understand that every log format is different, which means what? For every log format, there will be a dedicated table, right? So depending upon the log format that you want to collect, dedicated tables must be created in your centralized repository right now let's zoom out a bit to understand this in much more detail correct think about a scenario where you have captured all the data in a centralized repository but now the next step is to go ahead and make use of this data that means whether I can get some insights from this data or not, or whether there can be some dashboards which can be created, or whether if there is any uh, condition which is fulfilled, can there be a possibility of generating alert, or whether I'm capturing every data for, let's say, the purpose of my SIM solution or SOAR solution, which uses some solution data, correct? The use case can be anything. But once the data is collected, you have to make use of that data, right? Let's again zoom out a bit and understand how this entire process is going to work end to end. OK, so here you have different solutions from which you will be collecting data, which will be again in a different set of formats. And then that data will be ingested into your centralized repository, which contains multiple tables and Based on the data that you have captured, you can use any of these capabilities. Now, this section where you will be ingesting all the data, or let's say the service or the component where all the data from the entire enterprise will be ingested, depending upon your use case, okay, is called log analytics workspace. So log analytics workspace is actually a component which is used for data ingestion. All the data from your network devices or from your machines or from your security applications or security solutions can be ingested to log analytics workspace. And then you can use different solutions to make use of this data. Okay. So now, if you recall those four different keywords, which I was referring to, okay, the very first one was collection, correct, which means what the first step is to make sure you are collecting all the data from all the different solutions. Now, this can be done through agents to connectors or collectors. And then once you have ingested that data, you will analyze that okay, this particular data set is not required, or let's say these columns are not required. I mean, you'll think about transformations, if any possible, okay? Once you have the data, the next step is to go ahead and visualize whether I can use this data to create certain dashboards or not, or whether any insight is possible from this data that we are capturing. Now, typically, 
Uh, the most common use cases are uh, performance monitoring, security monitoring, as well as for Azure resources, diagnostic settings must uh, be enabled to send all data to Log Analytics workspace itself, right? Now, once you have captured all the data and let's say you are using this workspace for uh, Microsoft Sentinel, in this case, you can again have all the different rules or let's say automation in place, which is going to get triggered the moment any observation is captured in this data that you have captured. So to summarize, Log Analytics Workspace is actually the centralized repository where all the data is ingested okay that's the purpose of log analytics workspace and that's the reason when you open any of the workspace that exists in your environment okay let me put it like this what you see right now is one of my browser and here if i go ahead and show you any log analytics workspace then you will be able to relate okay so let's say if I go ahead and open this one, what you see here is tables, which means what? The data that is coming from all the different solutions are getting ingested to any one of these tables. Okay, that's the purpose. For example, the alert table here has a predefined schema when it comes to columns. Now, these columns are basically the attributes which exist in a specific log format altogether. Okay. So now, if you relate to what I was explaining compared to what is available on Microsoft's official documentation, things will make a lot more sense. For example, you have multiple data sources, which can be any solution from data sources that data will be ingested into a specific table now a log analytic workspace is going to have multiple tables likewise i was showing here and then you can use the other capabilities which azure has to provide for example you can create workbooks to visualize data you can create dashboard again to visualize data you can use application insights and then you can use this data to get ingested to services or let's say you can use other services which can make use of this data for example microsoft sentinel and microsoft defender for cloud okay now let me expand this section a bit more and make you read what exactly is mentioned on the official documentation each workspace contain multiple tables that are organized into separate columns which have multiple rows of data each table is defined by a unique set of columns rows of data provided by the data source share those columns log query define custom sorry columns of data to retrieve and provide output to different features of azure monitor and other services that uses workspace which basically means Microsoft Sentinel and Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Now let's talk about certain applications of Azure Log Analytics Workspace or where exactly you would need to set up a Log Analytics Workspace. Azure Log Analytics Workspace is the environment used by Azure Monitor for saving data. Now this is the first line which is mentioned in the official documentation of Microsoft and you can read this from here okay now if i come back to my deck again the next thing is azure log analytics workspace is used for data ingestion for microsoft sentinel as well as microsoft defender for cloud which basically means that even if you go ahead and navigate to microsoft sentinel okay let's say if i go here and just click on microsoft sentinel the first option is to choose a specific workspace and then go ahead and set up your sentinel instance on that workspace right since we are going to get started with sentinel so that's the reason why i am emphasizing this part more and more again and again okay the next aspect is moreover related to the advanced capabilities which are related to microsoft defender for cloud so the console that you see right now is 
related to file integrity monitoring a capability which is available in microsoft defender for cloud wherein you need a workspace to ingest data first and then you can use this capability in fact enablement of diagnostic settings for azure resources can be done through azure uh, can be done practically speaking by using azure log analytics workspace itself now from compliance standpoint you can basically ingest all the data to a log analytics workspace and can save that data for let's say up to seven years now this value that i have mentioned over here is typically referred as retention period for a workspace now for all practicality there is a default retention workspace time which is defined for each workspace that exists but with this being said you can practically go ahead and choose retention period for a specific table altogether that exists in a workspace so this was all about knowing how exactly uh, log analytics workspace works or what is the purpose practically speaking uh, which log analytics workspace has to solve and moreover what are the typical use cases for log analytics workspace so let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed in this video we have discussed about the fundamental concept behind uh, what is log analytics workspace it helps you with data ingestion or it is a centralized repository where all the data is ingested and we have also discussed about data structure of log analytics workspace in the next video i'm going to show you the methods to create and manage log analytics workspace this will be a slightly deep dive session so if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community thank you so much thanks for your time